Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 97. I got my coffee. Caramel creamer. Scrappy Sunday. And today is Sunday, April 18th. 2021. This is a podcast about knitting, crocheting, sometimes cross stitch. I have knitting and crocheting today. Um, yeah, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Oh my, I have had a very busy week. I don't know how in the world I finished all these things this week. Yes, one of them was like this close to being done. I just went on a knitting rampage. Yeah, I think that's going to be the title of this episode. Knitting rampage. So I have nine finished objects. That's right, nine. And three whips, just three whips. We're gonna cross that whip off because it's not even started yet. I'm not gonna show it. I'll, I'll tell you in my dream knitting. Yeah, three whips. I have a little bit of stash. Uh, the yarn that I ordered in like February-ish finally came. And then my last purchase before my husband said no more yarn came in today or yesterday. So I have not bought any yarn since the last time. No, oh, that's a lie. On Monday I bought some yarn because I was, I was mad. I was fed up. So I bought some yarn. I need to move my camera off. There we go. That's a better. <laughs> So I did buy some yarn. It did not come yet. It should be here pretty soon. So I did not buy yarn since last, since Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. I did not buy any yarn. All right. Let's get started. Finish object. I'm probably going to lose count, but we're going to start with number one. Tube socks. These are for my youngest. Yes. This is Nitpicks Felici Cupcake Karaoke. Um, tube socks. I don't put heels in their socks because their feet are still growing. I do 12 rows of 2x2 two two rib. I knit 120 rows and then I do my toe. 64 stitches. And I do a Chowgu 2.5 millimeter, which is a US 1.5. Yep, they kind of match. One had like a little bit of uh, blue and one didn't. Now one of these, I think it was this one. One of the balls had a knot in it, so I had to cut it and I got to this purple right here, so I'm like, all right, it's time to decrease, or I was already into my decrease, and the green color had, it was short for some reason. That's probably where I had to cut it. I don't remember. But at any rate, it looked like it had, the green had like three rows, and then it was going to go to blue, and I'm like, nope, we're not, we're not going to have that, so I just got to the green on the second ball and just finished it. So that's probably why it didn't have blue at the end. It's fine. So, yep. I didn't say, um, you can find all the show notes right down there. <laughs> I'll have links to my Instagram, my Ravelry group, even though not much is happening in there. <laughs> um, patterns, bag shops, all that good stuff right down there. Sorry, I forgot about that. And my stomach's making weird noises, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. 
I did eat breakfast. <laughs> All right, that is finished object number one. Sip of coffee. All right, finished object number two. <gasps> I finished my scrappy socks. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So these, I did um, five rows per color. Um, this one I did a little bit longer cuff. I did 15 rows. The heel, toe, and cuff is in Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. Uh, what else? The heel, I did five, or I did six rows before I started doing my decrease to give me a little more room around here. So I just did one extra row, five rows per color, and then my toe. And I put my heel at three or four for these ones. Since they're scrappy socks, it the heel needs to land in um, in between these stripes because I have my ends and when I do an afterthought heel I cut in so I want to make sure that the heel is in between one of those stripes. So the leg isn't very long on this one but oh, I love these. And this is Hugh Loco Minis, the fall palette. I think it was the 2021. Shorty, scrappy socks, um, 64 stitches, same needle, Chow Goo, 2.5 millimeter needle. All right. So you remember me saying, hmm, I wonder if I can finish three socks. I did. Oh, finish object number three, more shorty socks. I did these a little bit different. So. We'll set one of them down here. Um, the heel and toe are in Hugh Loco, Coal Miner's Daughter. The stripey is Mustache Yarn, The Boy Who Lived. It was uneven stripes. So since I had a 50 gram skein, I was going to experiment to see if I could do the cuff in the stripe color. And I can. I had uh, 19 grams left of the stripe after the after both socks and they do not match because I was I uh, didn't want to play yarn chicken but I like how it started with green it ended with the green it started with orange and it ended with orange so I thought that was perfect same thing 64 stitches I put my heel on row Probably I did the um, five rows, 12 rows of rib, five rows of leg, and then I put my heel in. I love this. Oh. Uh, you're probably going to see me knit shorty socks probably for the rest of the summer. Minus my uh, Desert Vista Dye Work socks because you need to use more than, uh, this. you have to use at least, at least 50 grams of the skein. for her knit along, so I'll probably knit my Desert Vista Dye Work socks, long legs, but, oh, I just love these shorty socks. Yes. So I can do, if I have 50 gram cake, I can do the cuff in the rib, but I need to do the contrasting. I probably could do I probably could do the toe and the stripe and maybe do a contrast heel. I don't know. I'll have to play with that. I don't like playing yarn chicken. I like contrasting heel and toe, so I might just do this from now on. Oh. All right, that is all my sock finished objects. All right, what is next on the list? Oh, the sweater. I finished a sweater. I blocked it. done. One sleeve, 
two sleeve. I did finish the ribbing. Last week I just had the ribbing on here. But it worked out. You get to see it all nice locked and pretty. This is the Tin Can Knits Flex sweater. Um, this is the 8 to 10 year old size. I put an N. I duplicate stitched the N on there and I got the chart from uh, the Knitting Magic book. It worked out pretty good. The only modification I did on the sweater is I did not do the garter ridge on the sleeve. I just did just stuck in it. Everything else I did the same. And there's the, the ribbing on the bottom. And this is Tin Can Knits. No, that's not what I meant. The yarn <laughs> is Knit Pick School of the Andes Celestial. That's a nice, it's like a nice blueberry color. It kind of looks purple on the screen, but it's more blue. So, yep, this is a Christmas present for my youngest, Natalie. Oh, and speaking of, since I had the sweater out, I had the idea. I don't think I'm going to do it. Let me know what you think. So, I have a Tin Can Knits Flex sweater. So, I was thinking about duplicate stitching an L on it. But then my kid said, but we call you mom or mommy. You can't put an L on it. You need to put an M on it. So, I was wondering, should I put an L on one side and an M on the other side, so then it's reversible. Or would it be weird to have a different letter on the back? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because I don't, I didn't do the short rows on this sweater or my sweater, so it is pretty much the same. So that way, you know, if I feel like putting the M on, I'll have the M in the front, or if I want the L, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but it was just an idea. What do you guys think? I could, I could knit a whole nother sweater, but I don't know. Sweaters just... Sweaters aren't my thing. Alright, let's fold this up. Another Christmas present done. Excuse me. Alright. So that's one, two, three. Four. This is whip number five. Not whip. Finish object number five. <laughs> Finish my cowl. Oh, look at this. I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to. <laughs> it's a little bit small, but if it's, oh, I'll put it on. I gotta put it around my massive hair. I think my youngest says she wants this, so so it fits. It's not it's not bad. You can roll it up when it gets really chilly out. So this is Nitpix Felici Aquarium. Um, I have a whip in this, so I will tell you, I could, the pattern will be linked under the whip, not in the finished objects. <laughs> I think it's the Sock Yarn Cowl by Noble Knits. Uh, yeah, it's a free pattern. You just got to sign up for her newsletter or whatever you want to call it. I did it a little bit shorter because I wanted scraps for my uh, blanket. I think I did it like a half inch shorter than they recommended, but that's, I just want, I wanted extra for my blanket. So, I think my youngest, or my oldest says she wanted it, so. I am trying to get through my nitpicks Felici stash. You can see there's a couple holes up there. <laughs> I'm trying to get through that so I can buy more because yes I'm buying more 
So it's just, it's a very simple cowl. Rib at the top, rib at the bottom, stack and head. I think it's 132 stitches cast on and a US4. So I'm going to, I have usually, most of these I have two of each color. So I'm going to make cowls with the other ones. And then from now on, I think I'm just going to buy um, single balls of Felici and make shorty socks. Unless there's a color that my kids want. That is that. All right, this one was not a whip. It was just a straight up finish object. Do you guys remember these? Crochet adult booties. <laughs> Do you guys remember me making these last year? If you've been with me for a while, you have seen these before. I make these for my dad for Christmas every year. Usually around April, May is when I try to get those out of the way so that I don't have to do them later and rush. Now, I made four pairs and it took me about a day to make a pair. So, yep. I will link this pattern down below. This pattern will be with in the finished object section of my show notes. So I used, oh, I don't have the tag with me, but I used Red Heart um, Super Saver Gray Heather. And I used a crochet hook K10.5. I was going to bring the tag with me, but I didn't. So here they are all nicely folded. Oh, look at those. These things are fast. I forgot how fast they were to make. So there is eight. I'm not going to show each pair because they are all the same. I will get one out. These look so dirty. <laughs> but my dad loves them. So here they are. So you, it's got a, it's an interesting construction. It's, the pattern says it's easy, but it took me a long time to figure out how to get, I had to do some modifications. So you knit this piece flat and then you go in, around and you crochet this part, this part. And then you knit back and forth this way. And then you knit back in a circle. This is a free pattern on Lion Brand's website. So yeah. And I still haven't figured out, I can get one pair out of one skein of yarn. So what's, how, how, this yarn is pretty cheap. I think it's like, maybe four dollars a skein. So I just make him a bunch and when he gets holes in them he just throws them out because they're only three dollars a pair, four dollars a pair. So I have not figured out how to like reinforce it because he gets uh, holes here and here and his heel. So I don't know how to reinforce it without having to make another piece and like have two of them because I would use more yarn. So I don't know what to put on the bottom of these so it doesn't wear out as fast. But like I said, it takes one day to make them. So whatever. So that is finished object. Six, seven, eight, nine. Bam! Look at, wow, 20 minutes to do finished objects. Whoa! Now next week I'll probably just have one. <laughs> we'll see. All right, ready for whips. Whip number one in my knit for brains bag and my Dalek bag. Not much done on these. All of my whips are like teeny tiny. It's like I barely had time to cast on new things. Nitpicks Felici hamburger. You will be seeing a lot of Felici in the next week or two because I need to I need to make room for new stuff. So all I have 
is a cup. These will be shorties. 12 rows of 2 by 2 rib. Um, Chow Goo needles, red lace, 2.5 millimeter, 32 inch cord, 64 stitches. Yeah, I guess I'll show you the cake. Let's see, I, have, I don't have all the colors knit up. Oh, I forgot to say, when did I buy this? I bought this in fall 2019. So this is an older colorway. I really want to make a cowl. I think my next cowl, after the one I'm going to show you, I think I'm going to do hamburger. I think that would be really cute. I don't know if I'll just make a bunch of cowls and just have my kids wear them or donate them somewhere. I don't know yet. But that's it. Just a cup. <laughs> yeah, my finished object is going to take a long time and my whips are going to go by really fast. Oh, this next whip. I am obsessed. It's my Scrappy Sunday project. In my Mario bag from Knit for Brains on Etsy. <laughs> So the heels, toes, and cuffs are going to be in Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. I love this gray. I bought a couple other grays of hers. I bought another one of this and a darker one. So I have a light, dark, and medium grays for all of my scrappy, scrappy projects. Alright, I'm going to take some of these knit scrappies out because they're already in the sock. So I took a bunch of my scraps. Most of them are uh, row one mini leftovers. And I'm going to do a rainbow. So here's what's left over. Wait, I used that color. No, I didn't. Okay. This is what's left over. So I kind of did like a rainbow fade. So I started the cuff like, I don't remember. Sometime this week I started the cuff, but I started this this morning and that's how much I have already. What time is it? Is it like 10? No, oh, it's 11 o'clock now, but yeah, I got this done while my husband was making breakfast. Oh, look at that. So these are counting my rows, 10 rows per marker. These white ones are where I'm going to put my heel. I put my heel at row 9 on these just to experiment. Um, yeah. The, on the other sock, I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to start with my pink or red and then go the other way. That way when they're on my feet, I can see all of the colors. So I might have to add um, another row or another color towards the end because I moved my heel up a little bit higher than I normally do, but we'll wait and see. Um, five rows per color. And yep, I'm going to weave them in. Oh. So since this is a shorty sock, there's not as many, but I really like five rows uh, per color. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I have six colors on there right now. I don't know if you can tell. This color and this color right there, pretty close, but, oh. Same, uh, 64 stitches, 12 rows of 2 by 2 rib, um, Chowgu Red Lace, 2.5 millimeters, 32 inch cord. Oh. I love these! They're the best. So, this is what I'm going to be working on today. Since it's Scrappy Sunday. And here's the colors that I just put in already. Oh. I was afraid that I wasn't going to have enough. Because I'm not going to repeat any of the colors. In 
one sock. Does that make sense? One color in each sock. That's what I'm trying to say. So some of these, I'm like, ooh, I only got five grams. That's not going to be enough. It's going to be a lot. I under underestimate scraps so much. All right, let's whip number two. Last whip in my freckle whimsy bag. More nitpicks for Lucci. <laughs> Baker Street. This one is ancient. 2018. Not ancient. Probably. No, that's a lie. Probably my oldest. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Is it right there? Yeah. These two right here are a uh, time traveler. And I bought those in 2016. I can't get myself to knit those. And they came out with that color again this time, but. So here it is in the cake. And this is another sock yarn cowl by Noble Knits. I am using Chow Goose. Is this a US 4? US for 3.5 millimeter and I got the ribbing done in like two rows. <laughs> my other one I counted my rows because I got to a point where I just kept, I feel like I was just measuring instead of knitting all the time so um, I did eight rows of two by two rib and then I knit 50 rows and then eight more rows of two by two rib. So now I'm just gonna, just gonna fly through these. I won't have to measure. Um, yeah. My youngest daughter might want this one. I don't know. I'll just make a bunch and whatever my kids don't want, I'll just donate. But yeah, it's a very nice project for um, the self-striping. I love it. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? <laughs> and that's all my whips. That's it. They're very teeny tiny. What? What are my goals this week? Hmm. Probably cast on a bunch of stuff. At least cast one thing on. Two things on. <laughs> My next sock whip is going to be Knit Picks Fleechy Rainbow. Um, that's going to be my next sock whip. I was going to cast that on, but I just I didn't have enough time. And and I'm going to make a, another paint pan cowl for a Christmas gift. I think that is my last Christmas gift. My last large Christmas gift. I might knit a few more socks here and there but yeah that's my last large Christmas gift to make and it's April yes so I'm hoping to have that cast on so you can see it and it's gonna have a gray the background is gonna be Nitpick's um, stroll ash I believe and then um, the little squares are going to be rainbow. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. I had a pineapple mini uh, skein set of 10 colors. Rainbow-ish. They didn't really have a red or a purple, so I added um, stroll red and a purple. I'll show it when I uh, start knitting. But those are future whips. I would like to have the hamburger socks done and the cowl done. Scrappy socks won't be done because I'm just working on those today. Unless I get obsessed and then I just, you know, bang them out. <laughs> because I'm pretty much obsessed. 
All right, now we got stash and then reading and watching. You want to do stash first? I saw this color and I could not resist. This is Desert Vista Dye Works. Zombody loves it. You. E W E. That hot pink and red. These are going to be my February socks for next year. If I make my legs just a little bit shorter, I could probably. Well, with this cut, with this, never mind. Scratch that. With this um, Desert Vista Dye Works Cal, you have to do the whole sock in her yarn. So I probably won't be able to do shorties with these. I probably won't have enough. But I can do use them in scrappy socks. My next scrappy socks, I think I'm going to dig out some self-striping scraps and just go crazy. So this is this one. Oh, I love it. And then here is, oh, speaking of rainbows, I'm trying not to crinkle. Oh, this is the this is the purchase that got me in trouble. This is Hugh Loco in her confectionery mini set. I'm not going to flip it around because it has my address on the back. But this is her 7525 base. Oh. So I think I'm going to make a cowl out of these. And um, let's see, what cowl? I kind of based it off the um, litmus cowl. Is that what it is? By Amy Florence. She did a rainbow cowl, and she did like gray, did did a gray stripe in between each color, and I think I want to do that, but I just have to figure out which color gray, and I probably got to buy more, so this might be a project in the future when I can order some more gray. Probably going to do Hue Loco. Or not Hue Loco. I guess I could get Hue Loco or Lolo did it. I was thinking Lolo did it. I like her tonal grays. And I have the light, medium, and dark. So when they get here, I'll just pick one. And then in the future, when I'm ready, I'm probably going to have to buy a couple skeins. And just make a big, giant cowl. I don't know. These are all 20 grams. Figured if I did a gray stripe in between each one, I might have leftovers to do scrappy socks. I don't know, but oh my, these are beautiful. And I'll set them down now so they don't crinkle anymore. <laughs> all right, that is all the yarny goodness. All my whips, all my finished objects, all of my dream knitting, future cast ons, all that jazz. So we'll talk about reading and watching in my show notes down below underneath all of my whips and my finished objects or finished objects and whips and my stash. I will have the titles and the authors of the books that I'm going to talk about because some of these I cannot pronounce their names. <laughs> this way, if you want to look them up yourself, you can copy and paste and Google away. All right, I finished Harry Potter number three. That's what I listened to when I was working on these. And I read, I started and finished Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I wasn't too, I didn't like this one very much. It was, um, it had time travel in it, so I was all for time travel. And they had the coffee shop, and you're supposed to drink coffee while you're, you need to finish your coffee while you're in your different place. And if you don't, bad things will happen. I like the premise 
the ex execution was, it just didn't do it for me. So I think I heard that this book is going to be a Netflix show. So I think the show, the Netflix show, might be better than the book. I don't know. I just didn't like the writing style. Just didn't do it for me. And let's see. I am still reading The Toll, which is the third book in the Scythe series, which is the young adult Grim Reaper books. I don't think I'm on the page. I think I'm almost half done. Like 300-ish. Sorry, my leg is really itchy. That's why I'm moving around here. <laughs> so I'm about half done with that. It's okay. I really like the first book. The last two didn't... They're... I don't know. I'll finish the series. And then I started... Um, Mexican Gothic. Not gonna try to pronounce that la or author's name either. Sylvian something or other. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm on like chapter two or three, so I just started that one. And that's what I'm reading and watching. Pretty much all of those were audiobooks except The Toll. That's a book I'm reading on Kindle. I do all of my, most of my reading on audiobooks so I can knit and read books at the same time. All right, watching. We are watching Curb Your Enthusiasm. I forgot to mention, this is season 10. We watched one through nine, and I guess after nine ended, I, I thought that was it. Then they just came back with another season, like two or three years later. It's okay. It's pretty much the same as all the other seasons, but I still like it. Um, we started Umbrella Academy Season 2. That is on Netflix. I love that show. That's pretty good. And the one movie we watched was Fifth Element. We watched that yesterday. My That's my husband's, like, favorite movie. We, uh... We got a, I didn't mention this before, we got a newer TV, and we got a Blu-ray slash DVD player, a new one, and um, I decided to get my husband the Blu-ray version of Fifth Element. I don't, I, I bought it on Amazon, it was on Amazon for like $8, which is pretty good for a Blu-ray, I don't know how I managed that. But it works. It's in fine shape. It wasn't used. It had the wrapper on it and everything. So I went to look up like Titanic. Because that's one of my favorite movies. And it was like $30 on Blu-ray. And I'm like, oh man, come on. <laughs> yes, Fifth Element is a little bit older than Titanic. But <sighs> I was mad. So, I, I didn't purchase it. Maybe in the future I will. That's one of my favorite movies. And I also like Romeo and Juliet, the um, Leonardo DiCaprio version. I have that on DVD. I want it on Blu-ray, but that's another one that was like $23 or somewhere around there. And I'm like, well, I already have it on DVD. So, it seems kind of silly to buy it on for Blu-ray, so... So that is reading and watching. That is all. Life stuff. Real fast because we're almost at 40 minutes. <laughs> the weather has not been so nice this week. We got some snow. Yes, that's right. Snow. Didn't stick, but I saw it and I was not happy. What day was that? Thursday. It has been cold. Like the previous week, we had like 70s and 80s, and I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And then last week, 40s, maybe 50. We're going to have another one of those. It's not going to be very nice. I think it's supposed to snow like Wednesday and Tuesday and Wednesday. 
so the temperature is going to be back in the 30s. <laughs> Today is supposed to be 57. The sun's out. It's pretty nice right now. Michigan weather, right? Oh, let's see, what else is going on? I am still on my yarn band. I almost... I was on uh, Nomadic Yarn's website. She added a bunch of stuff, and I really like that she had 50 grams. She sells 50 gram skeins now. Oh, I was so tempted. I added some to my cart, but then I backed away. <laughs> Back away. I can't buy anything until Felici comes out. That's what I'm telling myself. Because I have to have Felici. There is no way I am not buying that. My husband's just going to. I'm only going to buy one skein of each color, so that will be half amount of the money that I would usually spend, because I usually buy two skeins of each color. So I will be saving some money there, but I'm still buying it. <laughs> I went to their website sometime last week, and they had, I think they have three colors left now, and they all say goodbye, so they're going pretty soon and that means they're coming back. Oh, I'm so excited. So, usually they come out in June, but maybe they're going to come out in May. Little surprise. Oh, I love Felici. I'm addicted. So, if you see Felici, DM me on Instagram. That's pretty much where I'm at all the time. If you see it, DM me ASAP so I can purchase it. <laughs> Alright, what else? Pretty much really nothing, nothing else. Nothing else is going on. I'm mad because I can't buy yarn. So I'm just going to keep knitting and I'll show my husband. Look, there's a hole there. Look, there's a hole there. I will move you a little bit, but it might make some noise. So just FYI. See this cube right there? Look at that. That is completely empty. That was full. So I'll try to put you back slowly. I'm sorry if that made a noise. <laughs> it probably did when I go back and rewatch it. Sorry. I have been knitting. And see that one? Look at there's a big hole there. This one's kind of full. I haven't touched. This is my Patton's Croy West Yorkshire Spinners. I like to use this kind of yarn like in the fall and the winter because it's nice and crunchy and scratchy and warm. Spring and summer I like to use the super wash. Let's see how many socks I can finish this week. At least one. Maybe two because I'm not doing slippers. I don't know. We'll just see. What do you think? One, two, or three? I don't know. We'll just, you just have to wait and find out next week. <laughs> All right. I am just blabbing now. So we will end this. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. I do read them. Um, I heart every single one. I might not comment back, but I if you see my little heart, that means I did read it. And yeah, hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.